your saltwater guide, Captain Dave Hansen. I'm gonna, we're gonna be doing something a little different today. We're going fishing for yellowfin tuna underneath the dolphin. Now, first of all, I hear this all the time. People say, hey, we're getting bit on the porpoise. The hell you are, there are no porpoise. There's no porpoise carrying tuna anywhere on the ocean. There are dolphin. There are like nine different species of dolphin. But if you're, listen, if the captain of the boat is telling you that we're gonna get bit on these porpoise, but there are no porpoise out there. They're dolphin. There's several different types of dolphin. Today we're gonna be looking for spotted spinner dolphin and we're gonna be looking for common dolphins. And that's pretty much what you have in Southern California are common dolphins. And those common dolphins are always holding the tuna. That's the schools. And we'll go into this more as the video goes along today as we get out there and we find the pods of dolphin and I'll show you how they react and how you can tell which part of the dolphin are holding the tuna. But what we've learned over the last 47 years of fishing for a living in Southern California is that this fish, this tuna is suspended underneath the dolphin schools. There's not a lot of times they don't come right up to the top when they're swimming with the dolphin. So what we've done is we've started fishing them with the inline torpedo sinker. Now this is a four ounce torpedo sinker. And I, what I do is I tie this in line, it's different. Why in line? That way it doesn't tangle up. We don't use the rubber band system. I tie it in line. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a San Diego jam knot on here. So I'm gonna tie my sinker just like this. Get in here closer, Chuck, please. We're gonna stick the line right through the hole here on the bottom. If you can see it, we go right through there. And then we go back through the little hole we made on the top. And then we pull this tight. Grab that little tag end, hold it with your teeth, and pull that down tight. There's your San Diego jam knot. That's how we're gonna connect our sinker, okay? And then, because everybody's, and I like to use this little piece of uh, high vis, and this is 60 pound high vis coming to my sinker, coming off of my 60 pound braid. I got 60 pound braid going to the high vis, going to the sinker. That way I can see where this is at when it's out there. Then I take a nice piece of fluorocarbon about 24 inches long. Not very long, just 24, okay? This is 50 pound fluoro. I'm gonna tie a San Diego jam knot here on the end of that, where I take it up like this. Make a little loop, spin it around seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'll go through this bottom hole again, that little bottom hole I made. I'm tired here. Oh, excuse me, I look like I don't know what I'm doing here. Then I'm gonna come back up through the top where that little hole is I made with the loop. It's super important to tie the San Diego jam when you're doing this because I've seen many guys with this sinker rig and it comes untied. So I grab that little tag in and then I pull it down tight and there we go. San Diego jam hook the hook to or the weight to the piece of fluoro. Then I trim that piece off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a circle hook because we're using small mackerel or sardines today for bait. So we're going to take a circle hook. We're going to put it right here on here. And then I'm going to put the improved cinch knot is what, how I'm going to tie my hook on. Seven times around, through the bottom, back out through the top. Get a little wet. Slide it down. And there it is. Okay. So then, now, why did I do this? Because what I want to do, gang, is when we find that here, the reason why I tie it so short, because this is how I'm going to hold it. Just like this. I'm going to have my thumb on the spool. I'm going to have my sardine hooked on here when the captain tells me we're going into the school of dolphin. I'll have my sard. I don't want to kill my bait because we don't have a phenomenal amount of bait. So I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to nose hook my sardine on here, side to side through his nose on that hook. I'm going to hold this in my hand. When the captain says, let him go, 
I walk to the back of the boat, my sardines right here, and I just drop it. Do not cast, drop. The boat's gonna be doing six or seven knots. I'm gonna drop this back. It's gonna go back there right into the, the, the school of dolphin, or the pod of dolphin, if you will. And what's underneath the pot of dolphin? Hungry yellowfin tuna that are gonna bend the shit out of this rod. That's the key, is to get this rod bent. Most of you, I see you all the time. You stand there fishing like this with your pole straight. Nobody wants to fish with their pole straight. Everybody wants their fishing pole bent. That's what we're doing today. We're looking for the dolphin so we can bend the rod. But this inline fishing this way is killer. It's awesome. It's the way to do it. This is the awesomest setup. I've done it every other way you could possibly imagine. This is the way for you to catch fish in Southern California underneath the dolphin. Not the porpoise. There's no porpoise. If someone tells you that you're fishing on the porpoise, run, because they're lying. All right?